Hey guys, just giving another update on the GoTrax G4. This time it's a 1500 mile. Uh, well, you believe me. 1500 miles on this bad boy. Not much has changed since last time. I just wanted to discuss a couple other things that if you own this scooter might be helpful for you. This has been the friend scooter, so it's been getting beat on, like crashed, the taillights broke off. It gets jumped so much. And my buddy, jumped it the other night and we had the infamous bolt shear here so i just wanted to talk about some ways to fix this since i see people on amazon saying this bolt shear now i have to return it like bro they sell bolts every day you don't need to return the whole scooter so this is what will happen you land a jump wrong you yank too hard on the handlebars shear this right off this piece goes flying off into the tall grass and you get to go find it don't <laughs> don't lose that Anyways, so you can just unscrew this bolt. Like, look, I'm really screwing it with my hand. Pop that out. Buy a new bolt. You might have to grind the head so it's a little smaller diameter to fit in this piece. And then you bolt it back on. Boom, your scooter's fixed. But, like, if you're like me and you break this bolt all the time, my roommate got sick of replacing this M6 bolt, and he put an M8 bolt in here, drilled it all the way through with a nut on the top, and he's never broke anything since then, but... The thing, the reason I haven't done that is because I'd rather break that bolt than break this. Because making this, and it's aluminum too, making that is going to be a challenge. So if you break that, that's what you do. Let's see, what else is new on this thing? I already talked about the nut trick. I don't know, 1,500 miles? Honestly, nothing's really changed in the past 500. It maybe got another flat tire. And I think this is my third... Um, tire carcass to like the actual tire not the tube those wear out too and when it gets really thin you'll get a flat tire over anything but just wanted to make that quick little update for you literally nothing else is new the front tire is still original the display is still working i've had a couple people too say um their displays start flashing and beeping and the scooter won't move i've had that happen one time to me when the, I don't know what happened, I just hit a bump and it just started beeping and then no more throttle. What I did was I unplugged the motor wire that's under here, you know, and then plugged it back in and then it worked. So if that happens to you, that's one thing you could try. Besides that, I haven't had any issues with the electrical. Oh, the other thing, last time I made this video, it was winter time, you guys, obviously there's snow. And I said the range was like six to eight miles. Well, guess what, now that's summertime, I think the other day this thing just went 14 miles, maybe 15, but you know, that last mile doesn't <laughs> count worth a shit. You're going like three mile an hour, but the weather, this thing is really temperamental with the weather. Um, so now that's warming again, it's like doubled its range, which is really impressed. I thought the battery would, you know, be in the toilet by now, but she still keeps up pretty good. So thanks for watching.